All right, welcome back to the Appalachian Fair again this morning. We are live here inside the CTE building, really showing you some of the really cool work that some of the schools are doing. And we stopped here at the Daniel Booth, Daniel Boone High School booth. That's easy to say. We've got Dane here showing us some of the cool things. And really just walking through your booth, you can see you have a lot of different programs. Yeah, we have a lot of different things that Daniel Boone offers. And so like uh, mine is the STEM classes. And so what I've got here is one of the students' projects. A group of four kids built this. It is the sort of capstone project at the end where they have to, I hand them a shoebox. I've taught them engineering all year. And then they have to take that shoebox and build it to certain specifications. It's got to hold a kilogram payload. It's got to keep a pilot intact. It's got to survive a drop off of the roof of the school. And we even, um, I've got a, a man, Mr. Luke Bingaman, at NASA's Marsha's Airfield that we um, Zoom with a couple of times. The kids can share their ideas with him and bounce some stuff off of him. So this project was made out of a shoebox? Yes, nothing but a shoebox, duct tape, cardboard, and just a bunch of, you know, craft supplies, basically. And the kids had to make it. It needed to fly 15 meters off the, the roof of the school. And how did it do? This one did actually really well. This one almost made the 15 meters. It got to about 12 meters. The one we've got up there on the wall, if you can see it, that guy got all 15 this last year. It was the one that made it the farthest. Oh my goodness, that is amazing. Teaching kids all of these incredible skills. And then we're gonna go over here. We've got Daniel Boone High School, and now we've got Davy Crockett High School. And we are learning about some of the really cool things that you guys are doing. And like he said, just so much incredible work and skills being taught on a high school and now we're learning even into a middle school level. Yes, I mean we're teaching anything from graphic design to construction. Um, these CTE students, if you really want to see what they showcase, go to the Skills USA competition and just see all the trades that are learned and taught throughout the school year. I mean it's unbelievable, picnic tables, pens, even a pizza oven that I think you're going to get to see here in a sh short minute. And this table is huge, this big, beautiful farmhouse table and made by students. Made by students out of the construction class, Mr. Good. Oh my gosh, and then seeing some chairs over here. And we wanna talk about this pin because we were talking about the awards that they've gotten both on a state level, on a national level as well. And we have one of the students here who, let's see, you graduated already, yes. right? Yes. So we're talking about some of the projects that you got to do over the last year and you worked on some incredible things. Uh, yeah, I <laughs> worked on a lot of things last year. This one is my uh, Skills USA state pin design. It was a competition that um, lasted basically all year last year, and uh, it won first place in state, and it won 14th nationally out of 40, I think. Oh my goodness, congratulations. And look at, so you did a bigger size yes, so that they yes. could actually see the detail in yes. the pin. Yes, we worked with the... Um, the construction classes and the machine shop classes to build this at Crockett. So a lot of teamwork goes into this as well. Absolutely. Okay, and then kind of walk me over here because this this pizza oven is incredible and I love it, it says Pioneer Pizza. Yeah. It's, Perfect. It's amazing. They did a wonderful job with this. I, it's very impressive. You said you got to see it in action and it can do a pizza in? 90 seconds you can do a pizza in 90 seconds. We need to fire that thing up. That sounds good. And then we're going to bring the uh, teacher back over here. We're talking about the cows are amusing. And this was something that you guys really were tasked to create by the fair board. By the fair, uh, we met with a few teachers in the fair back in April of May of last year. And they tasked us to, to create a cow that lights up and shows what exactly is made with the cow parts. And of course, a lot of different groups coming together here, one of it being design. One of those design class that actually Miss Mock designed the cow. Um, and you can see on here it says construction and electrical classes helped produce this sign. And actually this sign, we produced it the first week of school this year. This year? This so year. in just a couple of weeks. So I would imagine some long days and some, some long nights. Um, a few long days, not, not too many long nights, but just the students just get so involved in doing something like this. They actually see what they're doing in class out in the real world and that's what we you know we're trying to get them to do every day and understand and we brought this in from another building so it's not just happening here at the cte building this is happening throughout the fair throughout, throughout the fair yes um and you can see if you it's interactive so you can push a button and certain parts a lot up and it'll show the younger students and younger kids that come to the fair exactly how important livestock or any any type of animal or design or career is 
Absolutely. I'd like this one, the milk, where we got the ice cream and the cheese and the yogurt, all that good stuff. All right, well, we are wrapping things up here at the CTE building, of course, at the fairgrounds. This is one of those places that you need to see. You're going to be so impressed with what our students in this area are doing and what they are learning. Just one part of the Appalachian Fair. And, of course, don't forget it is Second Harvest Food Day, so you can bring some canned goods or some boxes and get a couple of rides, too a couple of tickets to ride those fairway rides here at the fair. The fair, of course, continues all the way through Saturday. We'll be back to wrap things up here in just a bit.